go. We're back on Lemon tonight, guys. I couldn't decide what to play, and I wasn't feeling Final Fantasy. So we're going to be back in Remnant today. I don't know if I'm going to team up. Let's see. It was a bit annoying teaming up, honestly, because I never had any fucking ammo. If I team up with people in the future, we split ammo evenly and not sprint over and fucking grab it all, because that really annoyed me yesterday, honestly. But I'm looking forward to giving the game another blast today. We made it to like the second area of the first world or something yesterday. I just realized, why don't I have any sound? What the fuck? Hey Shark, how's it going? Yeah, I think I fixed the sound now. Hopefully. Can you hear it now? Television soul sparks. Sure. As long as we actually share loot. I'm not dealing with the whole, we kill a monster, 20 things of ammo drop, and you and Aero run over and grab them all. Because that really pissed me off, honestly, dude. We're meant to be a team, and then I just get left with like 5 ammo. You know? I literally have a ring that makes ammo drop more to try and not have that happen, and it still did. I'm not saying you grabbed all of it, but between you and Aero, you did grab all of it. <laughs> you know? You and Aero grabbed all of it. And then I'm like, sick, that monster just dropped like nine ammo boxes and I got one of them. You know? It's like, if, if there's a boss that drops a big chunk of ammo, then we say, well look, there's three of us, so there's two boxes each, right? Not, hey, let's run over and mash square and see how many we can get. You know what I'm saying? It might have been arrow to be fair, but I'm just saying. If we if I team up with anyone again, I'm not playing like that. Because that was really fucking annoying, dude. Like, it's a team game, you know? Do I wait actually? Do I have any bloody sparks? Crap, even. Probably not enough. Anything you need? Upgrade my stuff. Take care, my friend. I didn't mean sparks. I meant. Scraps. Hey, what? That was a different move. Is that because I was sprinting? No. Why did he do a different move? How did I do that? Yeah, I think it is like you have to have sprint at a certain time. Yeah, okay. <coughs> yeah, I do like a, a little back step. Oh, that's the evade attack, isn't it? I had a ring that said something about that. I think I got rid of it. Yeah, look, I even have increases ammo pickups by 50%. Because I was like, I need to keep getting ammo. And then I kept not getting any ammo. It's like, what the fuck, guys? <laughs> Please.
after we was here, wasn't it? I hope. Do you need ammo to use your weapon mod? Like, say I shot all of my shots with this, yeah? I could still use the weapon mod, right? Because that shoots a separate thing. It wouldn't, I obviously wouldn't be able to recharge it because I wouldn't have any ammo to use the gun, but I'd be able to at least, like, use the two bug shots, wouldn't I? Oh, I have to revive you, do I? And, oh yeah, because the, the, well, the fire mod just, like, buffs your, like, ammo in it rather than, like, being a special shot. Oh, they, oh yeah, okay. Hello. Where did we put that weird orb? It seems we need to put it here. <laughs> I don't even know what was going on. We should never have started this tower, to be honest. It was midnight already when we started this. <coughs> Apparently up here seems to be something. Oh, this is down. Okay. Go back up. Crab sure can jump. that door open, there's a lift back there. There's a lift here as well. Isn't this where we started? This is the start. Because I remember you said you cannot break this, didn't you?
My dog. He's just a head now. <laughs> it was over this way. Another lift. Why didn't he get on? Salmon flange. What the fuck? That sounds terrible. Damage increase to wearer. No thanks. Why on earth would I want that?
Where is this lift going? I swear we're just running around in circles. We've been to these two rooms like six times.
to be Pretty good. I might use that instead of the healing one. shield is active I regenerate 3% of my max health so even if I'm low on health I can just put that shield on and then I regenerate 60% of my health when it says removed by damage I assume that means they have to have dealt the 100% max health damage to destroy the shield, right? So 20 seconds or until I receive 100% max health as damage. That seems pretty good, you know. I mean, obviously there is a chance that, like, 70 thing is 70 health I mean that is quite a lot of my health actually I'm gonna go for that one I always forget to use it anyway Shield effectiveness as well, look.
but I can only do that three times still. But I can also get a damage bonus when I have shield up, so it's pretty good. So what, this place is fully explored now, is it? How do we get out? colors <laughs> yeah look at my health regen while I have that shield up It's pretty good actually, ain't it? Basically if I get swamped I can just pop that on and get loads of health back. for you still too broke well I can upgrade my sword Thunder. When did I get that? Time wave. You supplied slow status on all enemies. When the fuck did I get these? I don't want that mod use one, although I do like the mod use to be honest. I think I want to have returning ammo on my long shot because I hate running out of my fucking long shot ammo. It's annoying. So I think we'll put that on there. I don't want to disengage. And then this one, when I use the mod to do the big bang, it could slow everyone. That seems like a better way around of having it, doesn't it? What can I do to help? 
You have nothing I want. Come back if you need anything. So I can just start the campaign again with the same character. I don't think it makes much difference. I still won't know what the bloody hell is going on. <laughs> Oh yeah, look, this one's explored now. the engineer in this place. I saw a guide. Somewhere around the edge. This isn't looking good. Found another dungeon. <laughs> I can't remember what game I was playing, but I kept doing that. Every time I got here, it's like, ouch! Oh! Ouch! <laughs> uh, 
I found a dungeon. I'm very proud of myself. I did it all by myself. It won't let me in now. Okay. Trust me to find a dungeon that wouldn't let us in. That would be just my luck. I still don't know where Engineer is. I read a guide about it and it said it was somewhere here. I need to refill my relics. down there. The law thing. Let's see. Oh, it's not. It's a ring. Defective action loop. While reloading, and for three seconds after reload, incoming damage is reduced by ten percent. Hmm. That does seem reasonably good. I feel like the stuff I've got is a bit more useful. stay together oh home of knowledge anything around the other side
quarantine protocol will be initiated unless all virulent life forms are neutralized. Look out! Keep it up! Too, though, uh, tell anyone. Curious he was. Oh, he down in the pipes.
Same place anyway. You know what this game reminds me of? Warframe. But it's slow. It's slow Warframe. I don't have a clue what's going on and I just wander around randomly. Oh, so we fully explored this place, is it? No, we... We have a part from this door. But there's never like a thing that comes up like, hey, well done, you've explored it all. I'd just be wandering around forever. What's this thing? Memory core. Did you ever play Warframe, Sharky? Warping firearms releases a toxic cloud. I played Warframe a bit on PlayStation. I didn't really like it though, honestly. I didn't have a clue what was going on. I like did the tutorial, paid loads of money for a Warframe and guns and that, and then after a while they were like, you haven't done your fucking thing or something. We can't leave here now. It says it's filled in. We've done this place. But there wasn't a boss. I don't get this game, to be honest. What was the boss of this dungeon? They need to have some differentiation, man. Like, I can't tell what's a dungeon, what's a side quest, or anything. This game is just confusing to me, man. More than anything else.
I love how my little crabs are stronger than the big ones. That's pretty funny, isn't it? <laughs> they just go over and like one bang those big crabs with a swift headbutt. Wait. Long now, man. <laughs> It was somewhere around the edge of the world. This goddamn smoke. Give me a learn book, man. I'm trying to look for engineers. Can't find the rock formation. This place looks interesting, though. Oh, it looks interesting. Oh, four deaths are so annoying. Literally no way. I'm in trouble. Uh -huh. to roll the smoke. This game is stressful and confusing. Don't you think? <laughs> okay. Like even Elden Ring had 
I know, like, if you did it, you'd get into trouble, but even Elden Ring had, like, follow the fucking trees, do you know what I'm saying? This game stresses me out. Look, I'll show you this guide I found, by the way. Wait, where was it? No one's told me where to go. The only one that made sense was a bird guy who told me to kill someone somewhere. <laughs> and then I said about where you said he was in that prison thing and I, and then you said I needed some other thing. Look. At the edge of the map. Oh, you can't see it now. This is rock formation. And then... There's an alien device. And technician arm. And that's how you get engineered. Along the edge of the map. Run along the fog barrier. I didn't read the others because uh, I know I was just curiously reading through it in it basically and I recognized Nerud that's where we are isn't it like Yesha oh I'm a handler. I don't even really know which one I would even want. But I still need to roll a smoke. But you, yeah, you see what, that's why I was running around the edge of the fog, because it said it's like on the edge of the map, you know? Hello. Hello? This game is very stressful, Sharpie. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it doesn't like give you much direction, but if you... Uh, talk to people and you listen to where, where you have to go, they actually tell you where to go. And once you've played it once, you can kind of recognize the buildings.
I just realized Warframe has that whole primary secondary ammo. This game's literally a slow Warframe. Warframe yeah. crossed with Dark Souls. <laughs> Kinda, yeah. But more Warframe. <laughs> Running around dungeons that all look the same. You know? Yeah. And no, I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> I liked Warframe, it was cool, but like I said, I did like the tutorial thing. Beat that guy with the flat face. And then it was just like, I don't know what to do now, and it didn't tell me what to do. So I was like, oh, cool. Where do I go? And then I, like, leveled up all my weapons, and they were like, you can't level up anymore unless you do this shitty pistol training. Where there was, like, some guys approaching me or something, and I had to kill them with the pistol. And I couldn't do it, so it never let me level up. Even though I beat everything <laughs> I like all my weapons for max level. Because I couldn't do that shitty pistol training. And they're like, no, you can't level up. So fuck you then, you piece of shit game. And then after all that, it was like, oh, if you level, you need to get like another Warframe to level up now. I'm like, well, why the fuck did I spend all this money on Hydroid then? I don't want to be another Warframe, I want to be Hydroid, that's why I bought Hydroid. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And now you're yeah. saying I can't level up unless I play as someone else? Well, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't pay £30 to play as fucking Excalibur again. You know what I mean? <laughs> You know? The whole yeah. reason I paid was because I didn't want to play as that piece of shit Warframe. And now you're saying I can't level up without playing that one? That's some bullshit. It's a shame. I wanted to get into Warframe because it did look very cool. Graphically, it was way ahead of its time as well. I remember playing that on the PS4. I was like, what the fuck? The game's crazy. Actually, you know what? And for free to play as well. Uh. They should make this free to play, don't you think, Shark? <laughs> they should, yeah. Like Warframe. I think I found where we need to go. And on the store page, they should write a review that just says it's kind of like Warframe, but slower. They can even quote me. Use me as a quote on the Steam store if you want. It's kind of like Warframe, but slower. <laughs> That's my review so far. And the, and, the, and the weird overworld like this now that we're in. Do you remember when Warframe did that Plains of Eidolon and put that big old open world thing in? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So do I. I didn't know where to go and I wandered around aimlessly on my weird surfboard that I had. This game is just Warframe, but slow. They should give you a hover surfboard to make these open world areas less painful. <laughs> Warframe got that right, at least. You know? I think I found the, the thing for the technician. I don't know how to find you at all. But oh, I'm now fine. wrapping up. So there's that. So when do I get my second skill? Not uh, for a long time, or soon. I don't know exactly what level. Is it a level up thing though, or a story point thing? 
Uh, no, it's not story point. It's uh, I think level up where you are like level five, and then it it'll give you a tip about uh, a different archetype. Oh, okay, cool. Class. I don't know, I wouldn't mind being able to spawn turrets until I get demons or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it did say something about making your heavy weapon of infinite ammo, I didn't, I interpreted that. Oh, did I just mute my mic? I interpreted that as uh, my heavy, my long gun, but it probably oh. doesn't mean that. No, it's uh, it's your skill weapon. I, I, f I figured it would be one of the two and I'd probably be wrong. So it's good to know I was at least right about that. There's some strange... Oh no! Yeah, get fucked with my big blast, you piece of shit robots. I like that pistol. That star shot is so good when it has the weapon mod charged. Especially now I've made it to so it slows everyone too. The good thing is my dog will restore my health over- Oh! There was a bug in the- on the left. I tried to fire from the hip and it didn't work. No, you I can't. forget that's not a thing in this game. Sadly, it's not a thing. Oh, snap. Ouch. I wish I could roll further on. Oh, there's an orange enemy. Another one. Oh, it's uh, on because of my skill. I'm actually getting the visual effect of them despawning today. Yesterday they just disappeared. They're meant to explode in purple, apparently. Uh, it depends on how you hit them. No, I mean my my little bugs that I summon. When they time out, they they explode in blood, like when you kill them. You know, like when you kill the enemies, they have purple blood. Yeah. Well, yesterday when they when they were out of time, they just disappeared. But it turns out there is actually meant to be a despawn animation. Uh, and today I got to see it. I can't see you. Oh yeah, I can. Checkpoint. Checkpoint. <laughs> now, if we go over here. Then, if I'm correct, the structure should be over here somewhere. There's armor and a thing to collect.
My dog will revive you. Revive Sharky. Oh, uh, the... Uh oh. My dog's very cool, isn't he? <laughs> we'll be lost without him, to be honest. That thing just threw itself off the cliff. Oh, now I'm on fire. Help, help. Why did you run away? <laughs> this thing drops a lot of ammo. Let's split it evenly, innit? Oh, it didn't drop ammo this time. Uh, huh. Bags full. So I only have twelve good. shots left with my long shot. Uh this should be the structure, right? I don't know, is it? How do I see? Let's see, display capture. Looks a lot like it. Well, let's find out. Never seen anything like this before. And then, and then we need to get out of here, don't we? Oh. So is that the technician's chest armor, is it? That's the engineer's armor. I have a new headdress, headset. Whoa, the technician's helmet looks very cool, you know. And it has more armor. Whoa, a lot more weight on the body though. I don't really like that body, I still like my uh, my trench coat. We should, uh, uh, how much crap do you have? 1,282. Uh, how many, uh, Luminar crystals do you have? I don't know. You can see them in the inventory. I'm storing out my transmog right now. I guess nothing's changing with how I look. No new rings. Inventory. The blue ones or the red ones? Blue. Fourteen. Um. We can get you the, the class if you want to. I need to get dual class first. Uh, when do you get that? Um, I don't can you know. open your character into, uh, inventory? Uh, go to archetype. I'm level 6. Let's go to Warp 13 and uh, get you the mission. See if yeah. that does anything. You did grab the thing, right? <laughs> what thing? The, the alien something. Yeah. Something.
Yeah, I wish you could say pro, like, preset, in it, Because then I could save the engineer with the technician's armor on as, like, a preset, innit? Yeah. Have, have a handler preset. Craft weapon mod. Let's see what it is. What is it now? You're very rude. What Craft you me mean? something and shut up. That's his beam. It fires a beam which deals 15 damage per second and employs slows. Eh. I mean, I'll craft it, but I don't really give a shit about it. Okay. My other done. ones feel better. And my Big Bang, because of the mutagen, applies slow anyway. Who's Wallace? I'll take you to Wallace. Oh, in the tower. Yeah, uh, he's in the dungeon. Say that. What do I do? I need one more luminite crystal time. and a lot more scrap. Uh, did you upgrade your weapons? No. Why? Did, uh, or did you craft a weapon mod? Crafted a weapon mod. Uh, okay, that used for. Uh, Many of your uh, Illuminate crystals. Oh well. Are you two classes right now? Yes. That's why your pictures split like that. Uh huh. So if we can find one more elite enemy, like that uh, giant blob thingy, and we kill it, we get a uh, luminite crystal. This is Titan's Reach. Something over here. Bigger more to be honest. I don't know the word of that. Uh, you get a total of 60 trade points. I don't need 
even know how many I've spent. Dick. <laughs> probably go up that lift right but I just want to check if there's anything around here what the hell what did you see that see what me like stumbling going oh, oh, oh. that's what I was dying ah this is the nice balcony that I saw from outside Sounds like there's a robot. There's a, oh, there's a way down, or is this where we came in? I don't know where we came in. So this is a dungeon, is it? Or a side quest? Uh, I don't know what it is. But I guess it's a question. Don't shoot my dog. I won't kill it. Spectrum Nexus Doesn't say what we have to do uh. Wait, what's this? Oh, just a bit of wire I don't know if this is the right way. Uh, this is a side path. Oh, I guess up there led to a dead end anyway, so it looks like it was right. Hey, watch out! Here they come! Keep shooting!
<laughs> At least this place feels a bit more linear than the others. No, <laughs> no. <coughs> yeah, get him, dog. Bring his shield down, dog. My ammo gets rinsed in these places. Sometimes, oh no, I've only got eight shots again. Okay, now I've got a few more. So you're using your heavy weapon now, are you? I am, yeah. Spectrum Nexus. You know who else is on the spectrum? Me, motherfucker! <laughs> this is my goddamn Nexus. <laughs> Another cool chest armor eventually though. As much as I like my trench coat, it would be nice to upgrade from the starter armor at some point. Well, without like being so. over encumbered. I like the flowing fabric though, you know. Back at full health. Stay back, I'm going to use my big bang. be a boss fight do you think it looks like there's an elevator that goes a long way down afterwards All up, I don't know. should we make should we make let's make sure we have max ammo bro I don't if there's a boss fight let's just make sure we're in top form All right. 
I only got 10 more bullets from that, but it, even so, it recharges my weapon mods too, innit? Stay back at the start, because whatever's in there, I'm going to hit it with a big bang off the bat, you know? Okay. And I don't want to hit you if I can help it. Oh, there's nothing in here. Oh, that big thing up there. Well, I guess that was a waste. Or I just one-shot it. It was a waste. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm dead. My dog's reviving me. <laughs> what the fuck? This is ridiculous. What the actual fuck? <laughs> Where are you even meant to stand or anything? The fuck was that? <laughs> the changing bathroom. Uh, there's light on the floors that uh, tell you which of the tiles will change. That purple beam was stupid as well though. I was rolling like crazy and it just kept hitting me. Um, shouldn't roll. A, uh, you shouldn't roll from it. You should uh, run to the side. My guy is too slow. Oh, good. I launched my fucking mod and it shot me backwards off the edge. The fuck is that? This, how can a pistol mod launch me backwards that far, dude? That's so stupid. Wait, the dog is still hurting. <laughs> yeah, my dog's a legend. This thing's so stupid. What the fuck, man? It just hits me when I try and avoid it. Oh good. Oh man, this thing is so fucking annoying. Kills me in two hits of any attack. It's just stupid. Did. You even asked about Clementine. Sorry? <laughs> Who was it that asked about Clementine? 
what do you mean? Did you not just hear someone say, Do you think Clementine came this way? Oh, that's my character. Oh. That thing was annoying as hell. It's an annoying boss. Thing is, as soon as I try and aim, my camera zooms in, so I can't even see the floor when I'm aiming up at it. If you look at my stream, I literally can't see the floor. So uh, then I just look down, and suddenly there's floor lights, and it's like, oh good. There's no, there's just lights all around the cover I was just using to try and avoid that stupid purple beam. So then I immediately fall, come back up with like none of my health and then it shoots me and insta kills me you know it's like wow <laughs> So like we've explored it all. There's a diamond on the door down there on the map. Uh, does seem like we've explored most of it, yeah. I thought that diamond being yellow meant you'd explored it all. on the, the main thing probably just been there but I don't know really about it Look.
Uh, did you need long ammo? Yeah. yeah. My bad. No, I took, I got some. Ah, okay. I got a box. I'm pretty much full now. I don't really need to use long, long arm anymore. Sorry. Since I used my sentry. So that's helpful. It is, yeah. I mainly use my long. <laughs> and <laughs> my um, sentry with lanyards uh, and one hit so without grabbing anything. Huh? Uh, basically, a recharge of ammo. No, uh, I want to copy. Many shielded guys that rinse it up. Yeah. At least I get big hits with this lever rifle compared to like the automatic rifles. Crabs are pretty good, aren't they? <laughs> Where's that weird ghost gone? Yeah, I killed the ghost. I can still hear it wailing. Why is the music all intense?
Oh, so now it's fully done, yeah? We said we did it. attack dog I'm gonna switch my dog to that so he gets 20% more damage I feel like the passive healing we get near him is like kind of negligible see how much that launched me back even with one charge that was ridiculous that's how I fell off at the boss before Because I did that special mod attack and it launched me backwards off the edge. Supposedly this gun has a chance to reclaim ammo that I used, but I haven't really noticed it. <laughs> ammo numbers are one of those things in games, so I just kind of don't really notice it until my gun starts clicking. Yeah, and it's in total. Ow. Yeah. I mean, it's supposedly a 20% chance. So, I mean... One in five shots. You need to hit... <laughs> okay. So Long gun ammo. Yoink. What's this building here? This should be another dungeon, right? Uh, I think this is part of the main quest. Where is that place where I fell down the hole? Uh, Do you remember uh, that bit? Yeah, it's uh, on the other side of the map. It seemed wanna, pretty cool though. Wanna do this place first? Because we Th need to this. exit out of it anyway. Yeah? Uh, we just need to collect something from inside here and then we go back out. Very welcoming, did it? No. Wait, 
Okay, I have two trade points available. All in vigor. I'm level 9 in vigor now, you know. One more and I'll have max. And then I'll start going into siphoner to get lifesteal. So I can keep that max health. <laughs> That's my strategy, shark. Very big brain, don't you think? Get max health. Keep max health. Oh, that didn't seem very big brain. Or did you step inside and step out? No, I pushed this butt. Huh. I'll try to push it again, shall I? That seems like a bit of a cool trick to play. Why would they put that button there? Obviously people are going to press it, aren't they? But now this one's locked. Oh, I see. <laughs> Is this room safe? This is the main objective, isn't it? Come to this thing. Yeah, when I touch this, is all bad things gonna happen? No. Is all bad things already happening? They're already happening. Yes. God damn it, I wanna roll a smoke before the bad things happen, not during. Oh, a law thing. Mark of Apostec Secundus Molto. House Almaroon. I have secured the shields for each of the tombs as per the instructions of Primus Dome. What tombs? All systems are running nominally. I did detect some minor power fluctuations in a couple of the tombs. But Primus Domum assures me these are within acceptable tolerance level. I was instructed to report to stasis. House Almaroon is to be stored in one of the upper stasis chambers. I imagine the tools themselves offer more protection than one of the places so I've decided to stay behind and monitor the systems on this tool. Perhaps I can make a difference by being the sole part of surviving versus perishing. We can farm some XP here, can't we? Do these things just spawn forever? I don't know. Well, I'm rolling a smoke now. We've picked up that thing. My dog will guard me. I'm sure. I imagine the tombs themselves offer more protection than one of the stasis. No! So ah, you fucking... Here. I didn't roll in and time, I just wasted a really. He doesn't go over the there. It, it usually puts like a marker Shahama. to tell him to go over there. Oh, okay. No, it is. I can... Oh, he's guarding you, you know. What, he's guarding me? Look, if I target you and click the thing, you get a paw with a shield on. Oh. So Try running down that corridor. Yeah, he thought he's your pet now, I guess. <laughs> That's pretty cool, though. So I can sit here and roll a smoke, and he'll guard you while you fend off the baddies. And he'll at least stay with you, in it. That's pretty cool, actually, don't you think? You take him Look, down. he's moving to follow you again. That's cool. So imagine, like, when I get high level, if one of my powers gets it and it's like low level and just starting the game, I can tell my dog to look after them. 
That's cute as hell, don't you think? <laughs> and then if they wander off and get lost, my dog will still stay with them, hopefully. I guess it'll probably, like, I would guess at a certain range away from me, the dog will be like, nah, and come back to me. Do you know what I'm saying? But as long as I'm, like, vaguely with them, and especially when it's set to support dog, like... I can I can howl to heal. What what do you mean? What happened? Uh, uh no 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 not not what happened. Uh, in, in that sense, but what happened with the boss was you died and then the dog came to me to res me. Yeah, that's awesome. But support dog, basically each of my dogs that I can choose has a passive in it. So like the guard dog has increased threat while attacking so he'll get try and get aggro off me the guard dog is probably the best for solo play you know because yeah. he has increased threat all damage to the dog is reduced by 20 percent that's that passive right the support dog follows and will continuously heal all allies within 3.5 meters for 0.25 percent of their max health per second now I know that's like a quarter of a percent, but if you've got a billion health, a quarter of a percent is still quite a lot, isn't it? Yeah. So that's what the support dog does passively, and then the attack dog, the dog just deals 20% additional damage. So like, I feel like support dog could be real nice if you had like a new player with you. Why is that spirit of the wolf got an exclamation point on it? Maybe Guard Dog would be good because it could try and keep aggro off new players. I think that's the best one on just uh, damage. All dam yeah, but that's all damage to the dog is reduced. Wait, which one's the one that. Which one do you think is the best? They're just straight 20% additional damage from the dog. Attack yeah. dog. I haven't unlocked that one yet. Huh. Unlock it at archetype level 10. The two I've got is support dog. The companion will. I'll, I'll read it while I roll because I'm not rolling. I'm reading instead. But support dog is the one I currently have, right? Yeah. Actually, I'll read them in the order you unlock them. Guard dog is the start one, right? Companion will follow the handler, generate 15% increased threat while attacking. All damage to the dog is reduced by 20%. Now, if I do a single press of that ability, the companion engages enemies near the targeted location. That's kind of going to be the same for all of them, but I'm going to read it for the sake of filling time, right? <laughs> yeah. Double tap, companion returns to the handler and remains by their side. If I hold it, the dog will do a howl. Now, we're still on guard dog, remember? Now the Howl reduces damage by 15% to all allies within 20 meters and the companion generates additional threat. Lasts 20 seconds. So that's pretty good. You know? Yeah. But then the, the one I have, because I unlocked it when I leveled up and I thought I was more focused on like health regen at the time, I have support dog. So this one, the companion will follow the handler and continuously heal allies within 3.5 meters for 0.25% of their maximum health per second. Single press, companion engages enemy near targeted location, double tap, companion returns. Hold it, howl grants 2% of max health per second and 25% increased movement speed to all allies within 20 meters last 25 seconds True. so that's gonna heal you for 50 percent of your max health and give you 25 percent increased movement speed for 25 seconds you know yeah so i kind of thought like that's pretty good 50 percent of your health bar back from well, a dog how uh 2.25 yeah two times 25 is 50 sharky no 
two it's two percent every five. second yeah but, Why? but if you're in the vicinity of the dog you also uh, well you still have the 0.25 percent of max health regen oh yeah that's true but that's just saying what the howl does yeah because if you're with that's within all allies within 20 meters so if you're not within 3.5 meters you'll get still 50 percent of your health bar back over the period so i thought that was pretty good but i don't know if the reduced damage is just better or not and then the attack one which i haven't got yet i already said it deals 20 percent additional damage single press companion engages double tap companion companion returns but the howl on the attack dog increases the damage by 20% for all allies within 20 meters but it only lasts 20 seconds but obviously that is pretty crazy like buff everyone's damage by that much and the dog itself automatically does 20% more damage as well like uh, that is almost certainly the best one let's be real but I'm too like I feel like I don't know Guard dog or support dog if I was like playing with a new bro in it and sending the dog to protect them. But I don't know if healing's better or the reduced damage of guard dog on the howl really. What do you think? Is threat really an issue when we're in a group? Or no? It's more for solo. Yeah. But I... Yeah, that's kind of what I was th what I was thinking as well. Like the the guard dog is like for when you're by yourself. So I was like, I'll go for the support one, and it heals everyone in the group passively, isn't it? Yeah. Probably will switch to attack dog when I get it. I'm I'm definitely keeping Doggo as my I don't know about as my primary, but I do kinda like the kinship as well. Reduces friendly fire damage dealt and received by sixty four percent. Like that's just nice. You know? And again, especially if I potentially make new bro friends one day and I end up with a weapon that a fucking explode in the whole area it might be nice if I don't do as much damage to them if they're like new and running in trying to bash people you know no uh you always keep uh kinship only your prime perk changes so your prime perk is bonded oh so will I get a trait from my other class when I choose a subclass as well yeah Oh, cool. Oh, well, the prime perk is literally just when I get down, my companion will attempt to revive me, can also yeah. be used to revive allies. So, yeah. hell yeah, I definitely want to keep my prime perk as that forever. I don't get a choice to change that ever, do I? Oh, I, no, I can if I change my prime archetype off of hand, but to something else. Yes. But then my companion won't be able to revive anyone. He'll just be able to use his howl, right? I think so. Okay. It sounds like I want to keep Handler as my prime archetype. Because that companion revive is very good. <laughs> Like, the Companion Revive is better than the Howls, let's be real. Kinda? I think it is. Because the dog can do as much damage as you like, but against flying enemies you can't reach them anyway, so there's no fucking point, is there? <coughs> <coughs> Where did you get that from? Where do you keep getting all these weapons from? I can't hear you over the door. I keep pulling them from, from, uh, from my secret space. 
your prison pocket. Yes, <laughs> my prison pocket. Straight this way. bit less perfect. It's one of those big things. Go get it, dog. I'm trying to like get better at using my skill and like ascending the dog to attack rather than just letting him choose targets and such. Do we not get a luminite from that? Yeah, ain't it? Ghost here. Not anymore. Crap. This is where I fell down. This is where you died, yeah. Don't jump down again. <laughs> oh, I found a lift. something <laughs> uh, looks like I
I'm full up. Just take it slow, not like war fight. I hear some big footsteps, you know. Perplexing. What the hell? No other way. What the hell? Looks like we've done all the dungeons. But we have the thing for the main mission now. We can go back to the boat first and keep talking. What, did we kill the guy we needed to kill? Uh, no, we collected what we needed to collect to fight the mob boss.
Kom maar hier. Oh, die mini Creepy. So, if we find a checkpoint now, we can travel back uh, to Ward 13 and get you the salute. Okay. There's a checkpoint close by. It's all good. We'll go back to town eventually. Oh, yeah. Do we want to talk to bird person first? Bird person's in area one, isn't he? Uh, yeah. Let's get him! I'll finish area one first. There's one closer by. But uh we can just
Abyss or Rift? No, Ascension Spire. Ascension something fun over here. Whoa. I go left. <laughs> What's this? Drizzee Replicator. These are good wings. Voice grips, melee weapon. I don't think I want any of those things. After countless centuries, we have arrived at our destination. Uh, this take this elevator. Did I make any of these? Uh, we did not come here I thinking to find life, so. for nothing could survive this war. None of them seem very good for me, to be stars. honest. Rather, rather, Maybe energy diverter amulet. Of the universe. But I feel like my my amulet's but perhaps better. There is a means to reverse it, or else. Uh, what do I put in there? Uh, the memory core? Yeah. this objective the bird man's one uh don't really know it's a generator of some sort new amulet increases weak spot damage but yeah i'm not gonna do that <coughs> <laughs> What's the 
sending it back down. After countless centuries, we have arrived at our destination. The seat of creation. Speak to the bird man. Hello, bird man. What do you require? I did your quest. Proceed. How do I tell it? I didn't kill Tal Rafa yet. He doesn't want to find Tal Rafa in I his chamber. His echo is all that matters. Where's Talratha's chamber? Uh, we go back to the second area. Uh, it will be to, 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 to the left. <coughs> I should go towards 13, I guess. Uh, Want to get your uh, second? Just ran the wrong way. No, no, no. Uh, there's two ways to get there. Oh, good. Miss Clementine says we gotta look out for each other. Miss Clementine's dead, kid. One down. The traveler returns. They don't like it when I help you, but it is the role I must play. Plus one relic charge, though. Uh, if you didn't buy anything, you can, uh, can afford both, I think. They both cost ten luminite. Oh, uh, I think uh, having an extra class is more worth. I'll it. see you again, so, traveler. Uh, I so can I, how do I do the double one? Double archetype. Uh, did you buy? Yeah. Uh, Prime perk, holding the skill button will overclock a carried... Oh yeah. to have 10 trade points.
second, then you can... I only have eight. So you need to find two more. <laughs> I have an hour. Forgotten prison. I thought you said that guy was in the forgotten prison, Lara. No, uh, Arrow said it wasn't forgotten prison, but that's just where you meet him. But we need oh, and to I go kill to, him there. We need to go to the Yon Fault. Burden of the Destroyer. That sounds like a good ring. Sounds like a fun <laughs> Hey, these stupid borders are so annoying. Yeah. They like, use literally any other way to mark the edge of the map, but this bullshit. Literally any other way. <laughs> uh, As in, uh, then they'll put like lava or something, that, or some other noxious fumes. Something that doesn't slow your character down and be annoying. Well, maybe slow your character down, but not let him puke. Thing is as well, it's like you'll be walking fine. You'll cross the barrier and start puking, and then you'll have to walk way back into the area where you were fine to stop puking in it. Yeah. Hey, fish, you want to join? I'm very strong fish. My space crabs are inside. Fish, we found the tech machine thing to unlock uh, the class. I have engineer class now, but I don't like it. Only the dog. <laughs> and I don't just don't don't know me. Did I hit this? <laughs> no, okay. You know what happened. Oh. We're in the forgotten prison again. Yeah, but we're on the other side. I'm only on for another hour, fish. Tonight. And then I'm gonna take my dog down. Do my ESO dungeon and go to bed. Laraf, that weird robot thing. What weird robot thing? We, I spoke to a strange robot before. Yes, that, that was him. The soul sparks, give them to me. <laughs> this guy sounds evil, though. Lifetimes have I waited. Now I can rest knowing that everything left of my people is preserved for eternity. 
Oh, oh, that was me. I thought that was the enemy. I was going to say he looks very evil too, but it was me. Uh, oh, no. My arc will endure, and these sparks will join the consciousness. Oh, he's got big hands. Is that him? Oh, that's just a mask. What the fuck? This is going to be another annoying boss like that big robot, isn't it? Our fate is inevitable. Uh, a bit less. The custodian is she going to shoot lasers everywhere and make the floor fall down? It will not emerge uh, a second time. Let the floor fall down. All that remains is yourself. Tell me, do you believe in free will? I don't fucking know anymore. What does that have to do it with anything? Greatly. Many act as though free will were certain. Yet this is true for but a few. One's belief determines one's path. I feel like the bird I man would be easier to kill than will. this guy. Can I take this guy's Damn side Emperor instead? Has since shown me <laughs> the fate of all. <laughs> you can't kill the bird man. The Drazir, free will was an illusion. Am I a Drazir? Here. He no. called me to his ear before. Your uh, reaction since was inevitable. Yet I did not foresee you. Or perhaps I chose not to. I would invite you to the Ark, small one. You will be a welcome addition to eternity. What does that mean? Immortality. Becoming part of something greater. Uh, five. It's my power. Sure. Should I say sure? Let's go. And join him. I mean, whatever you want. You can try. I have some questions first. Be brief. Don't say be brief, mate. I want to know what's going on. I need to find my friend. Oh, I'm gonna tell him the Birdman wants him dead. Unsurprising, the custodian does what we created it to do, but its singular focus leaves no room for subtlety. The fate of Nerud is assured. The custodian will drive it back into a lapsus Torah. Its purpose is now our death. I need to find my friend, though. You have seen remains of my world nothing lives save you and i whatever cause you came for is lost my ark is the only path that remains how did you survive the black hole the ambit ember gave me sight to find the seat of creation and wisdom i have to, to use a weird chain. item on him as well now, don't i to I have consumed get rid of, of his ambit ember it has made me immortal and infinitely state your course. Will yeah, you I'll join, join your arc. You're very compelling, actually. Let's go. And inevitable. <laughs> as long as you shut up. <laughs> Wait, what? That's the arc? Now cut off his tongue. If I say no, does that still happen? Uh, I haven't tried. I feel like this is a canon event. <laughs> oh, you really should have fucking volunteered as well. Oh, this guy's easy. I can do him by myself. He's... Oh, shit. He seems. Whoa! Use the eye frame, Rummy. Send your space crabs after him. And a big boom! Go, space crabs!
It's just like a barrel. Oh shit. My dog's so OP, dude. I missed it. It's not like Monster Hunter where you can just roll around a lot. But I panic. Hits you on the way in, Ando. Oh shit! Go, my little crabs. I need some healing. Let's do this. Get him, doggo! Ouch! I meant to throw him at him. Ah! Well, I'm dead. Oh no, dog's gonna get me. Oh, 
fuck, bro. Jeez. Hey, this is here. Yeah, my power level is five. I, I threw those things at him, but they didn't do fucking anything. Yeah, fish, I can, I can nothing. Do Dampens the psionic abilities of long-term Amber Ember users. This was meant to stop him doing something, but it didn't seem to do jack shit. What's that all about? This way. How do I actually use these poisoned amber capsules then? Uh, you just throw them at the boss and... No, I know how to throw them, but like, when? I have no idea, I've never used them. Hello, fish. Hello. Sorry if you were waiting in there long, I suddenly thought to check, now we have to all together. Yep. That wasn't in too long. Yeah. Let me roll a smoke before we try that again. Jesus Christ. So are you on mouse and keyboard, are you, Fish? Yeah. I well prefer this game on controller, I don't know why. <laughs> Probably why I keep getting hit by loads of things. Wait, you're on the <laughs> keyboard? No, I, I use controller. Uh, how do you use the remote view? Uh, you, uh, are you on keyboard or...? Keyboard. Yeah, hold G. So G is usually ping, but if you hold it, it brings up a, a wheel and stuff. Oh. Oh. What a world stone. Uh, the world stone is the checkpoint. Let's get to the world stone. I need some long gun ammo. All out of long gun ammo. Out of long gun ammo. Out of this long is gun one ammo. I need to All like hotkey this one. I need some long gun ammo. Out of long gun ammo. I need some long gun ammo. <laughs> Especially when I play with it, bro. Jesus Christ. Follow me. <laughs> I just need to have that fucking on a hotkey, like press up on the D pad to say it, you know. I need some long gun ammo. I'm out of long gun I need ammo. Some ammo. <laughs> I, need some I never really use my handgun. I mainly just look at my handgun to oh, see if that's charged. On. So I can do the old big boom. Ow. <laughs> Ow, that hurts. You know what else hurts? <laughs> we can get stored up. If it helps, if it makes you feel better. After I did that, I put my controller on my keyboard to rest it while I roll a smoke, and it fell off and smacked me in the balls. <laughs> so, karma is real. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically all I use on my pistol. Or I guess if I ever, like, really ran out of long gun ammo, but I love my long gun. I kind of wish the mod didn't impact the appearance so much on this one though, because it doesn't feel like an old-timey rifle when I look at it now. Feels like it should be some mad thing laser beamed, doesn't it? Well, <laughs> what gear level are you? Well, what power level are you guys? You used to be a five, didn't you? I'm still yeah. one because I'm like still basically starting the game. We can go into your world if you want, can't we? It's fine. I'm like the tanky. I'm the tanky class, so. Hopefully I should be good. I started it in tanky class. It looks like you just took off your tanky armor, which probably isn't that good. Yeah, I was just taking seeing if it like affected my roll speed, which it does seem like it yeah, does. Weight, weight is a thing in this game. Uh, dream. I've this carefully point. crafted my transmog to be just. If your weight is over 50, it slows you down basically. So as long as your weight is below 50, you have like standard roll speed. I don't know if you want to have a little... Mind you, if you haven't... Uh, you got your Deluxe Edition items, didn't you, Fish? Yeah, 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 I got everyone. Yeah, there. you I played through it. that song. 
Uh, did I get a luxury edition? I thought they were just like in your inventory. Just start, look. I've got the elder headdress. The ring yeah, that's the that's the ones. Yeah. Yeah, they just started. But some the of them might be lighter than what you're wearing, so you could get your weight down, but still have good armor. You know. Do you guys want uh, to see my roll? Oh. <laughs> you're banned from rolling. I don't what? actually want to see it at all. Man, I've got the, in a fight. weight, but I've got 110 armor. So. I don't want to see you roll, shark. Ever. <laughs> yeah, uh, I no rolling. What's my weight at? My weight's at 48, and I have a hundred. I have 88 armor. I only have 109 health, so unfortunately. And I have a hundred. I put all my points in health, fish. Yeah. I didn't understand the traits, so I just maxed out my health. I got. Well, I'm, like... I've only got three points in health right now, but that's just the base stuff. But yeah. I do. I did get the bark skin. A trait which uh, is just like straight that percentage damage reduction. So I've got level two, right. so that's like two percent damage reduction. I don't have that trait. I got I got vigor level nine, kinship level eight, endurance level one. Because I don't I don't really understand what stamina does. Stamina is your rolling. You need to. But roll, I just seem run. to be able to roll infinitely. Uh, it's it it only trains when you're in combat. Oh. I never really paid that much attention in combat. I'm too busy trying to find where I'm getting shot from. Spirit, I have none. Expertise, level 3. And Siphoner, That's I like unlocked. That's like the health, actually, with a single shot. I unlocked Siphoner, you know. Grants a percent of base damage as life steal. So my plan is max out vigor and then max out siphoner so i'll get the, as much max health as i can and i'll get as much base damage life steal as i can that'll be a good start won't it because sharky said we get 60 trait points right so it's like 10 for a maxed out tree that's not bad and there are there is a way to like res like respec as well so yep. it's not big yeah. deal and like, by the end of the day, I've only got two trees that seem interesting so far, so maybe endurance as well, but then I've still only spent half my points, as opposed to, I, I, I've basically either planned out one third or one half of my points, depending on what other traits I unlock, kind of thing. Oh jeez, yeah, we need to heal fish up. Wait, what's this fish? Wait, wait, wait. Come off that, come off that, come off that. Watch this. My dog can heal you. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I, did, I did put a mod on my uh, thing. What? Oh yeah, I forgot I have a second chance, uh, I have a uh, second what? chance uh, ability. So if I die once, I can like instantly revive myself. Now we're now really sorry, because that's a 10 minute timer. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's uh, go try and take on Rum's boss, I guess. I'm probably going to get murdered. I have a spliff, so I'll definitely be this time. Oh, I'm not, not even... I hate that shit. He's more, he's even more annoying, as you know he's not, he's not as annoying as that robot thing. That robot thing will be very hard to beat. To be honest, that was very fucking stressful. Heal us, dog. Just do insane amounts of damage again. Like, what the fuck? I have maxed out health, bruh. Yeah. Don't worry, my my dog's reviving him. Yeah, he's like aiming for me. Hard. It's 
it's hard because he teleports around and I have to aim like a console player. <laughs> My dog's on his way. Oh, wait. Shit. Fuck. Fuck you, you piece of shit, boys. I fucking hate this stupid thing. I have no relics. Get him, dog. Kill him. I fucking dodged that shit, you... Bastard. It's hard to know where my iframes are, man. Like, Monsanto, I know the iframes and shit, innit? All this, uh, getting used to, uh, the game. Ah! My wow, stamina. Woohoo! Close there. Gone, though. No. Oh. It's that first one, the one coming like back in I can get, it's always that fucking first one. These bosses are hard. See if I got anything to equip. No, I guess you not. should have seen that fucking robot that we fought, fish. Oh my god. You have that to look forward to, I guess. <laughs> Although cats might not even see it, because they know everything's so random, isn't it? Oh, you'll see it, alright. <laughs> Have you been streaming this fish? Uh, I streamed it the first time I played it, a little bit. Sure, come to my chat, I'm gonna shout fish out, so you can play with him sometimes too. Are you in my chat? It's not, that, it's not that big of a video. There you go. There's our boy Fish. Everyone go follow. Nah, I rarely stream anyway, so... Even I so, Fish. Great. More bad news. I hate this. Oh, fuck off! You little prick, that's half my health gone in one foul slap. There you go, I got a healing shot for my thing. I'm, I'm basically already dead. Fucking hell, dude. When I have uh, shields, I can regenerate health. Ah, uh, he's not it's like his basic attack just absolutely rinses your health bar, isn't it? It's the same with like everyone. I'm still trying to work out where my iframe is as well. Oh, you little fuck. Are you down? Go, doggo. Oh, now I'm down too. My dogs are MVP in it. Oh, you son of a bitch, he was just about to revive you as well. I don't understand the damage either, because, like, somehow we seem to suddenly get him to, like, half health, and then. But, like, sometimes I feel like I'm not doing, like, any damage to him, and then I just don't get it. Need 
that's a good shell. Uh, I mean, that or I could use some better gear. Because he's like really rinsing me hard. It won't matter. He's rinsing me hard too. <laughs> Mind you, I guess I'm only wearing. Let's be honest, I'm wearing the Elder Helmet, Radiant Arms and Legs, and my starter fucking trench coat. Like, not even my class trench coat, my absolute starter one. Where are we going then? Town? What for? I don't know, you activated the stone, I thought we needed to go somewhere. No, I, I just needed to uh, get my skills back. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, all the bosses seem to be like this fish, even their basic attacks take off like three quarters of your health bar. Yeah, it doesn't matter what And they make the floor disappear. Yeah, I thought I thought that boss with that flight, no, that sort of uh, weird flying eye thing. And they like, they shoot fill out, the like, entire area. They get away, you would like you would insta die. Yeah, and they fill the entire area with damage. It's dreadful, honestly. <laughs> Adventure mode. Well, that really fast, I just got an account reward. Adventure mode. What's adventure mode? Uh, oh, it's like a uh, lets you pick a like a early world to do again, like separate from the story mode. I think. Uh, uh, basically running through the world again, uh, but only one world instead of pre-rolling the whole. Oh, I don't want to do the first world, it's a bloody nightmare. Which world did you get as the first world? This one, Nibiru. Yeah. So that's... Oh, is it what? Is it random? Yeah. Yeah. What, so I got, just got the worst one, did I? Brilliant. <laughs> what one did you get, Fish? I got the Yasha world, it's kind of like a jungle world. <laughs> No one told me there was different worlds, so I could have deleted my character and added a completely different world yeah. that wasn't a desolate fucking shithole. If you want, we can like hop into my try hopping into my world. You can also. I'm only on for another half hour, but then we have just beat the boss, so sure, yeah. I can come into your world for the last half hour. Sure. Uh, I wonder how I exit. Do I just exit to main menu? I guess I do. I'm, I've upgraded my vigor to level 10, you know, plus 30 health. So I, how do, what do, I, that's saved though, yeah? Yeah, saves automatically. Okay, let's head to town, so it auto saves us in town. My, well, my character just started freaking out, you know. Yep. Why? We'll see. Oh, jeez. I'm in, I'm in a different place now, fish. I just wanted to go to town. Is this not town? Did you not pick town? Or did a... It didn't no, give it... me a choice. 
Ah, I guess it is. Okay. You've got a story thing to go to. I went very strange and then came here. That's just a story thing. Wow. It never stops, does it? It will when we die. How do you know we're not dead already? I guess we're gonna find out. All right, oh on, my right. god, this is All gonna right. take a lot more than half an hour, isn't it? Look at this freaking <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah. What the hell? Can we, how, can we not just like... What happens if I use the kill myself item? Can I at least get back to a checkpoint so Fish can join us for this? I'm not too worried about that. Um, no, no, let's, let's do it. Let's, let's, let's at least spend the last half hour together, in it. All right, let me just take a look. It'll just spawn us back at the time. Yeah, probably. Well, I'll hop if Fizz joins us, I can still revive, and if we all die, I'll put him here too, right? Yeah. I'm connecting it. Oh. <laughs> I'm My dog always looks very sad when I die. Who wants to hold my sentry gun? Have fun. Okay. Does the sentry gun get a weapon mod as well? Uh, no. I can change oh. what it is. So what does Q is. do when you, uh, is that like you a special just, or just the ammo? You just place it back down. Ah. Uh. So, uh, no, this if place you, is strange, isn't it? If you do not aim it, it becomes a melee weapon. And you really good one at that. The hell? As if that actually works. <laughs> This is pretty cool looking, huh? How many worlds are there? Three. Well, no, uh, checkpoint. Uh, yeah, straight for the rock. Right here. But, oh, please. Uh, let's go to let's go to Fisher's game. Do we need to? So I've got about well, I don't want to do too much spoilers for you. Oh, that counts as my second world labyrinth. Yeah, weird. Now, uh, there's a total of four, but you have three different starting points. The second world is always the labyrinth. Okay. Let's travel to Ward 13 and we'll go join Fish's game. I'm interested to see this jungle world. I think I have a weapon mod I can make though. Before we do. How much, uh, see if I can upgrade my stuff first. While I'm in your world. Before I hop out. What can I do for you? Yeah, I can upgrade mine as well. Have we got to buy it? Upgrade my well, long gun. Can't upgrade armor, can you? I don't think you can. I uh, don't think so, no. What? My star shot was not even upgraded. Okay, all my guns are upgraded now. <coughs> Gas giant, a melee weapon from that acidic jawbone. Oh, 
is pretty cool. Centuries old iris. That was from that fucking annoying boss, wasn't it? Fires a superheated beam. The gas giant melee weapon looks pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I don't have enough luminite or scrap though. For dealing damage on this is the dormant toxic gas within the head. That's pretty cool. So that's a boss weapon. Ah, uh, okay. I'll send you invites. I'm gonna clear. Exit main menu. But I think I can join you through my friends list using my controller, not the invite. I'm gonna well, try. you just like I'll go into the world stone and then pick join game. Oh, yeah. Just then you can pick me, I should show up there. <laughs> Let me try that. I want to try getting to do things with the controller and not necessarily even happen to go into Steam and stuff. And use checkpoint. Adventure mode. You may have one campaign and one adventure mode active at all times. Okay, cool. Join game. Damn, it's showing loads of places. Ravages Lair. Oh, it's showing everyone. Damn, there's so many people. The Lost yeah, Temple. My name should Fish be underneath one food. of them. There it is. I see. Let's hop in. We should be good. Your world looks very different to mine. Yep. Mine's a abysmal fish, honestly. <laughs> There's poison smoke everywhere. I've just got like flying enemies everywhere. I shoot projectiles at you. Yeah. That's kind of a pain when you're like a close range class. Mine has weird guys that throw books at me. <laughs> They're very strange. Sharky, you gotta get the checkpoint. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I've got 20 minutes. Okay, let's go. I don't think there's anywhere over to go than uh, up here anyway. Oh, wow. Your world's beautiful compared to mine, isn't it, Sharky? Oh, yeah. you've got nice waterfalls and shit. I'd have much preferred to have been here. Yeah, this is a... Uh, I just got to this place. Before, it was like mostly all jungly up, like, up here. Yeah, yeah, you should have... This is it. nice, though. I like this. Oh, there's a boss. Boss? Or a dungeon. Yeah, going into the dungeon. It's the only way to go, anyway. Other than heading backwards. My dog's here, right? Yeah, it's here. I saw it. Okay, good. Have you unlocked the space crabs mod fish? Uh, I have not. That's only in the Look at them. Freaky deaky bugs. You don't have to use the checkpoint for it to be activated, do you? Because it always no. goes up. Okay, it's, it's already just, uh, done. Let's just go. Fake mistake. Guess it's just going to be a dungeon. This is cool. Let's see how they like space crabs. Shoot me. I'm not trying to. <coughs> oh, come on. Yeah, stay back. I'm gonna use my big boom gun. He's 
rolling things are a bit annoying. They are. Uh, fish, wanna try my sentry? Your what? Oh, sentry? Nah, I'm fine. It's fine, you can use it. I'm still trying to like get some grips with what each of the, my guns do. Yeah. Like how much, like how the mod generation works. Like, does it. Like, is it. Does the uh, mod generation work faster when you're using the actual gun? Yeah, that's how you refill it. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, because it seems like uh, it was still filling up even when I wasn't, was using the other gun. Uh, it yeah. also fills up while using melee. There's a chest. <laughs> I'm like a quick draw guy, you know, like the Wild West. No, that's ah. fun slimmer. Yeah, but I like having a dog, so I'm that, but without the cowboy hat. Gunslinger's just a pretender. Under here, nothing. Wait for me. Well, I have no idea where I'm going any either anyway. I'm just kind of exploring, hoping we find some treasure. There's a guy. There's a thing behind you. I got it. Don't shoot my space crabs. Oh, oh they're <laughs> yours. I thought they were the enemies. <laughs> There's no space crabs here. Uh oh. That okay, doesn't then. sound like a friendly sound. Oh, I see it. Damn, you got cool enemies here too, you know. That thing looks badass, so I just get robots. Bam square. Big guy chasing me. Yeah, I, I just couldn't do anything right there. There's too many enemies around. Oh, that's fine. These are the things that a, a summoner can summon, aren't they? The rolly things. Gross. The big guy's coming back. What the hell? This place is going kind of mad. Yep. Uh, what difficulty are you on? Uh, just the regular one. Survivor. Easy. Yeah. You guys are going to just have to do something. Above you! Above us. Okay. Let's head up this, this way since we went down last time. Yeah. Mind you, I kind of want to get revenge on that big horned guy, fish. Yeah, well, it's, it's going to go to the same place anyway. <coughs> that thing's insane. It throws those rolling things at you. 
basically a summoner, but it rolls them at you as well. I love how I say that like I've even seen the summoner class. <laughs> I've seen pictures of the skills when I was looking at guys and those rolling things look a lot like the picture. I don't know that I want to summon those things. <laughs> Find the tough enemy. I think it's going to be up here, the where we get, you know, you see the, the X's on the map. That's where we died last time. Stay back. I have a big boom. See him over there. Oh, I see it. Face crabs, go. <laughs> he went down so easy that time, what the hell? Well, there's, there's only one. Which way? Uh, there's a bridge here. Wait. Ah, nice. Oh, there's uh, a chest over here. I want to grab the chest. ring as well. Summons lifesteal, 5% of uh, face damage yeah, health. Someone's life steal 5% base damage dealt. That's a good thing for a summoner. Useless for me. Yeah. Ah, what the heck? There's a horse. God damn. I got attacked by three of those blind things. In Feel that later. He's a bit of heal. A healing mod is surprisingly good. Yeah, it's helped me through the whole game. Just put it on my side on. I just got it on my uh, secondary weapon right now. Yeah, the handgun. There's 
nothing up. Well, what the heck? I was just about to say there was nothing up there. Blood Moon Essence. This is the entrance. That's uh, this is the exit. We haven't explored it all, fish. No. Yeah, let's the get diamond's back. not full. I saw something we have way to back. Get there. the full diamond. Where are we not explored? Ah, it's gonna be right ahead of us, isn't it? I see where it is. It's all the loot like instanced. Like everyone gets their own loot. Um, Your ammo. Ammo isn't, but the rest is shared. Okay. This pistol does so. Oh, that's because I'm using my long gun. That's so so what the hell is this pistol that's, to uh, load you? You don't get it. No. Okay. You have to. That was really annoying me yesterday because I was like killing things, and I've got a ring that makes ammo drop more frequently. And then Aero and Sharky run and get it, and I'm like, I've run out of ammo again. <laughs> we need to learn to share. God damn, what? Ammo you have. It'd be interesting if you could, like, drop the ammo you have, like, you have already picked up. Reloading! Oh! If you sprint and then vault over a wall, you do a nice thing. Look, watch this. Yeah, I'm back to doing that constantly. <laughs> There's a whole lot of unexplored area. Yeah, the area's a lot bigger than I expected. Oh, I see something over there. An exit. Oh, that's the way we need to go as well. Hmm. Good. So the other part is a uh, side part. Yeah, I did find the uh, dungeon earlier. That was like level, like, it was like power level. Oh three yeah, dungeon. this is just the overworld. We're not in a dungeon right now, are we? Yeah, I found a power level 3 dungeon before. And, uh, yeah, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I think everything in there was wrecking me. In my world, so empty that I literally thought we were in a dungeon right now. There's so much going on. My world is fucking horrible, fish. Okay, everyone ready to leave? <laughs> uh, do we want to go here or the other side part? The bridges. Uh, I well, know, problem is going to be like leaving soon anyway. Yeah, yeah, I need to leave. So let's just let's get to the next checkpoint and then like do what we're doing. Get all like head off. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be staying on too long either. Your world's cool though, fish. I like that way more than mine. Makes me tempted to delete my character and restart, honestly. But then I, I don't. It's completely different pickups there, isn't it? So I wouldn't have my star meld pistol, right? Yeah, uh, you I wouldn't guess. have had that pistol. Like right, and that that cool robot. Remember the one that I like? I don't want to give Fish spoilers because he hasn't seen it, I guess. Well, but... when you, you'll be, uh. Well, as you like, travel, you'll be, like, going through different worlds anyway, so there's a good chance that you might, like, pass through this world as well in the one of your later what worlds. What the hell do you think happened here? And then there's a chance you won't see this area anyway. Yeah. Well, at all. Yeah. Well, oh, there's it's a big open, open room. Not concerning at all. 
Definitely not. There's something in here. Are we really not fit through there? Damn. I mean, <laughs> I'm not that <laughs> fat. <laughs> I mean, my armor is pretty bulky. I forget to use my class skill. My crabs are very strong. Which is your class skill very strong? Oh, big guy here. Jeez, he, he is big. He's got to ride me as well. Oh shit, he can climb. I set him on fire. Die, big guy. Drop anything good? Not that I saw. I don't think so. Root rot. Don't know what to can't heal her right now. Is it that way? There's another way over here, look. Is it? I can't, I can't tell who's who because it doesn't like put the names over like your characters. I'm, I'm the one with a blue arrow next to me. Because of my dog. Can you see it, the dog? We've got root rot. Have we got anything that I can cure? I can cure it. Uh, there's an elixir. Oh, it's locked. Hmm. So we need to go the other way. Do I see if I have any of an elixir? It's you fine. Pop it. I still didn't use that thing that the guy gave me to suppress <laughs> that Rajat guy. Yeah, that, uh, that big guy was like shooting rocket launchers at me. That's like really messing me up. There's a ring. Fish. Part of the wolf. My game's frozen. Oh, is it? Yeah. Wonder what happened. Hello. Not letting me tab out of it either. It's frozen and I can't tap out so it looks like I'm gonna have to restart my PC so I'll probably jump out there. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Mm, that sucks. wonder what caused this crash. I don't know. It's well weird. 
kind of thing what I was doing. I think I just tried to roll on it first. Right. I'm gonna go take my real life dog down, restart my PC, do my freaking daily Elder Scrolls dungeon and head to bed. So we are be I'm back, but I'm I'm not gonna be on remnant. I'm gonna do my yeah. I'm just gonna do my daily dungeon and then head to bed.
at least I don't use a single PC setup so it just crashes my game on PC. Just realized this. My relic dust to uh, buy some stuff. <laughs> oh, I mean, oh, no big deal. You can buy any consumables. Assuming I have any scrap. Yeah, I don't have that much scrap, unfortunately. Yeah, that's not dated on. The old Twitch. Alright, I'm gonna hop out, boys. Have a good one. I'll be on right, okay. again on Monday. Good night, guys. Have a good one, boys. Alright. Let's get ESO started up. Who else has played? Oh, Sharky has played before. He has ESO. Dun dun dun. I'm giving EO the scores online. Well, okay. Who else has played previously? Hi. Whoever goes to the barriers. I was playing loads of hours. God dang it. Probably on NA though. What's that? Gem mount. An infernium dwarven spider. It's like a dwarven spider with all fire all over it. That looks pretty dope, honestly. Web of Sanctuary. Stash of Sanctuary collected. Series of Sanctuary collected. What the hell is going on? My ESO plus free trial has ended. Gee. I want to try and actually do all of these, not the angling ones, but like these ones. <laughs> the way shrines, certainly. The story quests. I haven't even done the Stoneforge story, dude.
Take it from me. Like their armor. A bit revealing though, that gold armor. Looks cool though. smoke if you it consume my squirrel and then we're gonna you yeah, I'm just gonna do my daily dungeon though I'm not gonna be on here from well I'm gonna do the dungeon and then uh, sort out my craft and I don't know if we got any new traits that we can research but hopefully Hopefully my inventory doesn't get too fucking crazy before like the 16th I think it is my bill normally comes out for my internet. I'll tack my ESO, I will actually subscribe for ESO Plus because I want the craft bag, I want to actually, I do want to become a good crafter on this character, try to get all the motifs along my adventures. You know, because even if I'm playing other characters, I can still, like, put things I find in the bank and then get them out on this character and use them. So, should be pretty cool. But this game has literally, like, thousands of hours of content. It's, <laughs> it's sometimes a little bit overwhelming. But the good thing is, like... Ah... Uh, I don't know man, like once I unlock the crafting and that and get up there and get to the point I can do it, I can say to people like you need to provide the materials in it and just tell them what they need, but like I have bought most of the DLC so like, I don't really need ESO plus for anything other than the crafting bag, it'll be like there's one DLC I don't have which is like 1,500 crowns so I could just like get that in it but I probably will buy ESO plus why not eh Thing is, I'm going to be queuing this healer, so I need to queue once I've rolled because it's probably going to be insta join. And I just pray we get a chill group like we did yesterday, and not a group that wants to sprint through it all. Sharky and the Org, not Org, well yeah the Org, but also, <laughs> I swear he is. Oh no he isn't.
What is Tales of Tribute? That's like a card game, ain't it? Oh, it's locked. I need to do something in high aisle. Uh, I probably won't bother with that just yet. Sometimes I try to picture who your Magister Eren was. Sage old lady? A guar from the swamp? <gasps> Ooh, or maybe a mysterious masked stranger who you never knew the identity of. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Oh, the dungeon queue would be a lot quicker. Check that everything's charged. If I just knew this land better, I'd go find him myself. Blighted fire song. Corinium, the second ember made some advance into the periphery of Black Marsh. Oh, this is in Black Marsh. Yeah, I should definitely have a quest here, right? No? This group isn't rushing around like nutters. I have 50 slots for loot. That guy is really, that Arcanist has really bad health. Did I accept it? Yeah, nice. Intricate, nice. No 
been here before then. So there is a quest. Hmm. Girdle of Medusa. Nice. Now have ornate. I'm not going to go for ornate. I'll go for intricate though. Take all that shit. I like that arsonist's ability to like freeze them. That's pretty dope. Did I even consume my fucking thing? Yeah. I've apparently already got the buff. on craft materials. Find the Sister of Rain is over here. Who are you? You, you. Why are these guys running ahead when they clearly can't handle it? 
fucking idiots. Right, that's why I like being the healer as well, because somewhat you can like control the pace. They did an endeavor. We should be stood in this shield. It's always good finding intricate because I can deconstruct it.
I'll grind them all prophecy by using some dark magic skills. Uh, uh, uh. Reporting for duty. Hey, Harry. Harry, I'm moving back to Gorston soon. Do you know that? I bought all the DLCs painstakingly for real money. I don't have ESO Plus. But I'm going to get it soon because I want to actually um, do crafting. Thank God. I'm trying to do it without the fucking crafting bag is a horrific nightmare. Uh, I'm not very good at ESO, my build is probably garbage for like elite tier champion dungeons, but I get the job done, you know. People don't die when I join the random groups, and that's what counts. I've decided. <laughs> I loved it on console, man. So I like. It went on sale, so I bought everything, and then I spent like a hundred quid on crowns, and I bought like the craziest house in the whole fucking game, L like some vampire castle. I even made a fucking org as a fucking guild. I'm getting into crafting. How do I leave this fucking place? I never know how to leave this place. Leave group, yes. Leave instance, yes. I haven't even finished the Stonefall story, bro. Because I, I finished, like, the main story on this character, and I've got all the classes, so I've made, like, every class, and a separate character for Werewolf and uh, 
vampire and all that shit, you know. But I've only leveled this one and I'm not even fucking, I'm level 48, so like I'm almost at champion levels. But I've been trying to focus on crafting. I heard the Ashlanders accuse the tribunal gods of murder. Fuck. Why are you telling me that? Maybe they're not. <laughs> I'm Ebonheart Pack, by the way. I know my Khajiit makes you think I'm Eld Mary, but I'm Ebonheart. Black Dragon Banner, you know. You should play again, because honestly, it would be nice. I, I'm doing my daily dungeons every night before bed. Like, at midnight, I take my dog down, and then I do my daily dungeons before bed. Do my crafting and that. So that's what you just witnessed. Oh, apparently I can't research anything. Cool. I'm trying to get like attuned, so I, I've got some attuned crafting stations, so if I can find where I have to go to craft Julianos and get to the stage Here, that I can craft it, I think I can attune those stations and put them in the guild hall, so then I'll be able to craft that for people, you know, which is like, I, as, as far as I can tell, it's like one of the best if starter sets, if you will, at any level, so like as soon as you hit max champion rank when the gear is maxed out, which is, well not max champion rank, but champion rank 150 or 160 is when the gear caps, so if you can hit that, then uh, then I can make a full set of Julianus and then you're ready to start doing dungeons until you get like better stuff in it, you know what I'm saying? It's a long fucking slog, honestly. Oh, I can't even research anything for like 21 more hours. Yeah, so that's good. And all of these can be researched still. Okay. Let's check metal work. Yeah, I have to get so many traits researched before I can actually craft some of these sets. And the time is ridiculous. I have a nice, you can have companions now. I don't know how long ago you played, Harry, but you look, I've got a companion just like in Skyrim. You want to talk about them? Her name's Ember. And I'm, I made her like where she's like a wizard so she has a lot of the same skills I have which is quite nice and you can like choose their mount and stuff you know so I have her on a fiery horse that mounts my f matches my fiery cat I basically play this as like a single player game and then I just use the fucking dungeon finder but they always join and because they want to get it done as quick as possible, they just sprint through, do you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, sometimes it's annoying, so I wouldn't mind having someone to adventure with. Wait, did we check the cloth station? I can't remember. Don't look like it. Look, I've got so many characters, bro. This guy could go into like the dagger pool level, but you should be Ebon High if you do play again. Ebon High packed. Plus, they have a sick rap 
the Ebon Hearts have a sick rap. I'll play you in a sec. So this is my sorcerer. All my characters are themed, right? So my sorcerers can I'm going gonna go for the monster set that summons a Daedroth now and then. He's all about like Daedric summoning, even though I have a resto spec for dungeons. So I do have a restoration staff back bar. I want to get the Oaken Heart Ring so that single bar is viable for him eventually. Don't know how to do that, but... <laughs> but he's about Daedric summoning, and then I've got my bear boy, the Warden. And i got a cool outfit for him. He's currently using two-handed weapons, because I was planning on making him melee, but I don't know if I like melee on this game, so he might end up getting changed to bow. I've got Rum Dragon, the Tank Dragon Knight. He's themed as a dragon, as you can tell. He's named Rum Dragon. So he's going to have the Draconic Leap and like the Fire Breath and the Back Spikes, you know. Like the physical dragon manifestations kind of thing. Rum Claw is going to be my werewolf eventually. Rum Fang is going to be my vampire. So my werewolf's a Nightblade and my vampire's a Necromancer because they both seem fitting got a Templar who's an Orc because I think they have a racial that means every so many attacks they like heal themselves or something which sounded pretty Templar-esque so I was like yeah they can be the Templar. Rumblade is my Nightblade but you see I've just got the this is going to be my werewolf themed Nightblade you know so he's going to be more focused on werewolf-esque skills whereas this one's more going to be like assassin and shit. And I've got my Necromancer, Rum Dead, and then the new class is Arcanist. So I forgot that the weird eye god was called Hermaeus Mora, and I named him Molag Rum. And then I completed the story on my sorcerer and was like, oh shit, I got the name wrong, didn't I? But I don't really care that much to change it now, and Molag Rum is much easier than. Hermaeus rum face. <laughs> like, that's long as hell. Then yeah. I have like every class and a vampire and werewolf when I get round to it. But I have to get some of them out of the tutorial and I can't really be bothered. You want to see the starter skill of the Arcanist, Harry? I could get him out of the tutorial, I guess, before I go to bed. First things first, though. I think I will actually do that, but first things first, I want to show you this Ebon Heart wrap. Because, oh my god, dude. This is why you want to be Ebonheart. The gangster as hell. <laughs> I'm moving back to G-Town soon, you know, Harry. From Black Marsh, we are Wagonians of the breed, act harsh, treat us as lowlyans. We've been cursed, trodden into the dirt, so we develop the thick skin. Wait, 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 wait. The music's interrupting it. Jesus Christ, be quiet, be quiet. Listen to this. Ah, ah, from Black Marsh, we are Argonians of the breed, act harsh, treat us as lowlyans. We've been cursed, trodden into the dirt, and we develop the thick skin as little can hurt us. And when it does, we're the best at restoration, quick to mend the system. This one's way better than the other factions trust. We settled and made choices, never been considered as a master way. But then we're quick to switch and adapt to change. It isn't an idiom when we say we're amphibian, fill a ditch with a bit of liquid and we live in them. There's no bigger mystery than our history. Shrouded under visions in the shadow of the history. We're pale vicious, what ails you we resist? Witness our tails flick as we hail to this. It never starts fast with the ebon half back. So you'll never ever ever get your severed arm back. Whether you were Harry, you should play again. Come join my guild. Whether you are 
well as ourselves Breaking through your hard shells Taking you to half health The greatest of the fables And the tales that the bar tells We're in pursuit of a higher truth And we'll chase it through flames That's why they made this fireproof Some say we're quite aloof But the race just might produce The one to execute the daedra And tie the noose But they don't touch you Just as tragic as destruction magic Ramp it up to maximum The cast to make you rushed and panic Crushed and damaged This isn't just an anecdote A man of rose up So savage will leave your head pounding Leaking like a fountain Blood coming down like lava from the red mountain to underestimate the dun was a direct mistake you'll be torn asunder plundered and a left the fate never starts back with the ebon heart back so you'll never ever ever get your severed arm back whether you were governed by your head or heart that is irrelevant when battle in the ebon heart back as it never starts back with the ebon heart back so you'll never i'm gonna ever, get ear show plus as well i'm not gonna play it every day well i will in the evening i'll do my daily we're bringing hordes, banging on the big drums to ringing chords, singing war choruses, swinging swords, killing all sorts of orcs and winning wars. In the beginning was a civil war in the north land of Atmora. The warlord East Grimoire brought us to the shores of an old cold continent. Confident we'd conquer it, we conquered it with confidence. Skyrim was ours now, as it shall ever be, for we are the fiercest warriors you'll ever see. With our two handed weapon expertise, we're rugged and robust. You look better weight next to these combats, a long lasting state of ecstasy. Very well. Good. No one but the eight divines could ever set my destiny. Good, good. <laughs> That's basically it, anyway. <laughs> but yeah, Ebon Heart Pack. Bitches. Oh shit, log in. <laughs> I just did. What do you mean? No, please log in. What the hell? What's going on? Log in. Okay, quit and relaunch, I guess. They don't like the music, I guess. Did my daily dungeon, checked my crafting research. I'm gonna get one of my other characters out of the tutorial because it's still like relatively early. I do probably buy Archivist. Because I actually like them. <laughs> hey, Lycan, how's it going? Why is it not letting me log in, dude? Why do they hate me? The fuck's going on? Is it like maintenance or something? going on making me sad I just want to play please just let me play Please let me play. I haven't done anything bad. Why does it say that? I guess I'm done for the night and hopefully this fixes itself. I want to contact customer service. Do I actually have to? I'm trying to restart my PC, but like, it's eating into the time. I don't really want to be up now. After midnight, it's basically 
like take my dog down, do my daily dungeon and go to bed. But because we were already on it, I was like, we'll get a character out of the tutorial area. We'll see if we start in my PC fixed it. I'm not gonna contact customer support. Is that literally the end of my Tamriel adventures? Why is my PC not restarting? Which I could restart. Not shut down, but hey ho. Bloody Elder Scrolls Online. That's bullshit. I spent so much money on that game as well. Like, they better not fucking let me know. This fucking game. I not like done anything shady on this game. Like Star Trek Online, I wouldn't be surprised if like they would have banned my email. They did let me make an account when I got it on Steam. But on, the, on Star Trek Online, I did spend quite a bit on like strange <laughs> grey market sites. Mm. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't say anything in the news about, like, hey, yo, uh, we're doing maintenance. Do you guys have this game, Raul and Lycan? Thank goodness. These guys I want to wait because I want to get them Werewolf and uh, Vampirism right off the bat. Could try Templar out. I'd most like to get my Arcanist out of the tutorial again, to be honest. Even though I'm not going to play them until I get, like, far on my... Well, I could start playing them. You're awake. I need to go to the Undaunted Enclave and start doing my, uh... Undaunted Ritz soon, I guess. Let me just check all my settings are right. So we should uh, prevent attacking innocence somewhere. The labor always sure. I think it would be under combat, wouldn't you? The fuck? There should be a thing that says prevent attacks. Oh, 
when attacking innocent one. There you are. On your feet. We are. Blah blah blah. Let me out. Wise choice. Uh, Just give me a moment. There. This is quite that a long tutorial, so after this, I'm when going to When you're ready, face. follow me. We will get my uh, my arcanist out of here. Should really keep these for my crafting character, but fuck them. Uh, uh, uh. If I get motive pages, I will. There you are. Blah blah well, blah. Find course. the weapon. I can't yeah, let's go. Total Healing stuff is what I take first. Larger weapons like staves and great axes will take both hands to use. You can pair smaller weapons. Yes, I think that one suits you. If you change your mind, feel free to take any other weapon you want. Now, Thanks. let's find a spot to practice. Could take all these weapons, really. What the hell? There's a guy in there. Never noticed that before. Wait, did it? Can I talk to him? Oh, it's the urn. Play this on controller as well. <laughs> you might be wondering why I'm not taking any of these. There is a good reason. Well, kind of. This is as good a place as any. No? Prepare yourself, oh, while I uh, conjure up a dance oh, partner. Geez. Let's begin. Quickly now. Well done. Well done. Top marks. Hit it again. Brilliant. Now do it again. It's basically a close combat tutorial. Ready yourself. Quick, strike while it's off balance. Even if you are a, a staff user or a bow Keep user, I guess it would be strike the same. Hard. Now, raw strength, that wonderful. Which is pretty Protect hilarious. yourself. Give it everything you've got. Now, some bows will try to restrain you. No. Quickly, break. You broke loose. You ready to break free? Ha! <laughs> you're unstoppable. Again, you're every bit the warrior I thought you'd be. Again, now press your... That was quite a blow. Swiftly now, interrupt. Expertly done. Again, hold its attack. When your enemy prepares an attack, strike. Interrupting their attack will set them off balance. Good, now destroy it. Done. Come speak with me. Ray, I'm level two. So it suggests that I take Boon Blade. I think I'm gonna listen to him. I take them, they give me increased XP per kill. I can't say anything with certain.
one of the stray golems. We might want to sneak past it. I'm not about sneaking around. Darkness is really strong as well. Look at this shit. Just bam the first skill you get. Great. First things first, let me grab a lightning staff. Heavy kind of seems the best. Like, even on, on my sorcerer, I haven't got any points into light or medium. How do I apply this? Can I just apply it or what? Oh. Yes, no. Heavy armor skill now. Medium. Cool. So, I mean, the iron helmet gives us the most defense at this point. That looks kind of nice there. Give him big iron armor. I do kind of like to mix it up, but you can easily mix it up with like a belt or something, you know what I mean? It's not noticeable. Let's give him a medium bell. have to be heavy because I want those. I like the iron. Oh, the light ones don't look too bad. Is 
I'm hiding the helmet. I can put a light head as well. Why don't I have light gloves? Two light, one medium, and the rest heavy. It's not ideal, but it's good for the starting off because I'll get skills in like every one of them now. And let's destroy the ones we're not using. Free up the inventory space. Sorcerer, I've only really put skills into heavy armor passives. Now he won't be stood on the character screen just like in his default little shirt, you know. All my other characters have got like a costume so they're not like just wearing some basic bit of shit. And it's still pretty basic, it's just iron, but at least he's not just wearing like a shirt and he'll have a staff and that, you know. Once I get somewhere that I can apply Dials to him. Dial him up. And this guy's not going to Stonefall, so I don't really right. know like where the that place will be. Gallery should be east of here. This Let's guy's going out. into the Necrom storyline. The new one. I probably won't play it for quite some time. Or maybe I, I'll devote since I'm already going to be doing like the daily dungeons on my main guy anyway, like maybe Tuesdays we'll start playing this character. Because they do have a really cool mount as well. Can't oh, mount, of course I can't. I quite like playing the Arcanist though. Mainly because it does, like, I feel like my, as far as my stat, um, my stat distribution goes, it'll be basically the same as my Sorcerer. And I'll mainly put well, even if, if I just put my sorcerer's gear onto this character, it would be decent. Because my sorcerer just wears gear that buffs heavy attacks. Like, when you use a heavy attack like that, a fully charged one, it makes your next 
heavy attack do more so I basically just use charged attacks and then put spells in to make it a bit more interesting so I feel like that's gonna be much it's gonna play much the same but also very different because this is an attack class you know I'm kind of looking forward to playing something a bit different. So I used to play my Sorcerer back on PS4 as well. So if you had all those hours on, I played a lot of Sorcerer in this game. Never like a good build, but my fun build that I like. I replicated it on PC. I just realized my guy gets a book out when he's casting the spells. The Kirites gallery is in here. Let's head inside. Stay on your Trying to search the urns. No we am way. Oh, another player. Mm -hmm. Well, this is upsetting. Jeff is... Of course. Let's not tarry too long. Yeah, level three. I like my little non-combat pet. He's cute, isn't he? And I gave my character green eyes. So they kind of match hopefully all right do you see that vault to the south the sky shot is there Sounds pretty good. So they said it generates crux as well. Oh, it does in battle. I want to have that curative rune forms on my back bar because that's what I mean when I say it's going to be playing very similar. I'm going to want lightning staff on the front, resto staff on the back, to be honest. I'll probably use more like restorative um, arcanist skills on my back bar rather than being pure. 
rather than having a pure resto staff back bar like I do on my sorcerer, I'll use the healing skills of the Arcanist, you know? I don't know why. And the same goes for Warden, except he'll be bow and resto staff. Characters that don't have a healing build like Nightblade and uh, Dragon Knight. Not sure how I'm gonna do them yet. Probably a tank know. build and a DP tank bar and a DPS bar. Tank bar will just be a load of taunts. Maybe some buffs. Kind of dreading playing melee characters and tank characters. There it is, the sky shard. You just absorb the energy of that shard. Oh, incredible. It did, yes. Not quite what I intended, but we can work with this. Let's head back to the gate. We're gonna heal others with it. We should hope. All right. Focus on the sky shard. Ah! You think it any luck? Let's see It'll for a moment. Respond to the power you absorbed and unlock the gate. I don't dig how my guy looks in this iron. I'm afraid we've reached the release. Again, I'm just... There it is! Send it back to Oblivion! Wither and Weird, die. that I can't just let my pets fight it on this character. You know? The gallery wasn't too badly damaged. Follow me. By all the stars.
I've got Fate Carver. Harness pure knowledge into a beam of energy that scars the world in front of you. Ah, this one consumes your crux. Okay. I guess we can get that on Y. So we charge up our things with like this or a square and then bang, consume our runes. That's pretty fucking dope, boys. Look at that shit. Oh, yeah, you can't even see. No one said anything. Fuck's sake. I'm just sat here like, look at this, look at this. No one says, oh, we can't actually see it, Rum. Can't see anything, it's been frozen for the last 10 minutes, 5 minutes. That even change anything. Why is that fucked up? I don't get it. Everything's fine on this OBS. Fucking one of those nights. Let's just go to bed. Okay, there we go. Fuck me. Here's the new skill I got. Basically, it deals increased damage if I have Crux Charge. That's absolutely mental. Well, here's the Necrom starter area, I'm pretty sure. This door leads to the Telvani Peninsula. Why does a Telvani do anything? Ambition, power, greed. I've heard they formerly used the island to house the mentally unstable and magically insane. Some most likely fanciful sources say the entire geography of this place is made from the ashes of the ancient Dunmer. Never turned away the families of the dead before. If the rumors about illness are true. To a Telvani master such as myself, everyone is a spy and a threat. In a place like this, you don't always need reason for betrayal. Every secret and all knowledge finds its way to a pocket in time. I see all that is, once, and will never be. In desperation, all things consume one another. But that's the story that my Arcanist has to look forward to someday. But not today. <laughs> is that a player? It is. Let's see if we can heal them. Doesn't seem as easy to use as, like, the restoration stuff skills, honestly. It is pretty.
pretty cool, I guess. What other skills are there in here? I mean, this is nice because it generates crux, right? And basically, look, it costs it costs in the same way as uh, my razors, except from this, I target an ally instead of an enemy. So that will go on square on my back bar anyway. Oh, and we get a remedy beam. Ah! Consume crux, so yeah, basically that'll go on Y on the back beam. That seems pretty nice. Draw forth your toe and invoke the vigoratum of Hermes Moore. Conjure a fun vortex. Okay. I feel like Shackram Shield will be better. I kind of want to get this actually. Because I want some of those passives. right away. Just doing insane, dude. 
thought it was like late in the game you'd get that, but you just have it from the get go. That's insane. All right. You know what else is insane? How late it is. Why does it have to be legs? I've already got legs. Could use that though. That's not bad. More XP. More spell damage. These ones have more max health, so we'll go for the level 3 ones. Okay. I'm gonna log out there. But that's my Arcanist out of the tutorial. So that's very nice. We've still got the Nightblade, the Templar, the Werewolf, and the Vampire to get out of the tutorial area. And I need to work out like where they're each going. My Necromancer should be on the Necromancer quest, I think. He should be on the Arcanist. Well, not necessarily the Arcanist quest, but like that expansion. He should be in the right place, but I don't know if I picked the right one. He's just in the one that was themed about dragons, because he's dragon themed. These two are going to go into grey more. Not sure about the Templar and the Nightblade, I'll have to see like which ones are left. But yeah, we're getting there. These ones will probably be the next characters I do because uh, I'll probably drop some cash on it when I get my ESO subscription. Get both the vampire and werewolf fight. Maybe get the vampire furnishings for the house as well so we can control our vampire level. Well, to be honest, I'm thinking of letting my vampire character be full vampire. It does have its disadvantages though. My night blade's the only one that looks basic as fuck now. So that's kind of nice. I really need to change him to use a bow. I think the set I wanted to get him relied on like melee hits, which is why I made, wanted to make him melee. I love all my characters, dude. I love how they look like, just how they're like themed. You know, obviously the Arcanist was easy because kind of came with both of these, you know. Like when this guy gets all his gold armor and his gold skills and shit, he looked like a mental holy paladin. This guy's like vampire horse. This guy was kind of hard. He's going to be a werewolf. I'll probably swap the tiger out eventually. But he's a werewolf lord. He's just a dragon. He was kind of easy, just get everything bears. My sorcerer, I feel like I could do better. And to be honest, the necromancer, I feel like I could do better as well. 
there, around Halloween there is like an undead horse you can get which I kind of want to get over this dog I always used to have that horse on my mane so I might do that and then give Rum Dragon the flaming cat Let's find someone to raid. I'm very tired. Might even just be another Otis raid, depending who he's on. Is anyone streaming anything I care about? Star Citizen Mining. Loads of people are playing Baldur's Gate. Like everyone. Loads of people have been waiting a long time for that game, huh? Well, uh, send you over to the artist. Have a good night, boys. Thank you for hanging out. See you next time. Peace.